It is magical out here at Iroquois Park, especially when Jack O' Lantern Spectacular is in town. We're talking about more than 5,000 pumpkins. That's actually the minimum amount of pumpkins out in the woods at one time. They they have more than that just because of the backup situations. But we have cool weather, Aline. You are the director of the studio here. Um, talk to me a little bit about the pumpkins that we can expect to see and the art that goes behind that. Good morning. Um, we have 111 intricate pumpkins, which weigh approximately 100 to 150 pounds along the trail, nestled in the midst of the uh, 5,000. Wow. And those are art pumpkins. Those have very carefully drawn images on them that are carved by our th approximately 30 artists that That's have full-time jobs, but still come in to make these pumpkins for everybody to enjoy through the month. And right now we're looking at one of the most iconic spots along the pumpkin trail. This is the pumpkin laughing tree. Talk to me about how it's different this year. The laughing tree this year, we have uh, the cottage behind everything, and we've also spread it up the hill some more because this is such a popular area on the trail. People do all their selfies here. There's sometimes spontaneous dance parties that break out <laughs> here because the song that's played uh, here is really super contagious. It really is. Walking through here, um, I know that you do a lot of the work to prep for this. What kind of hours are, are put into ahead of opening day? We have been on site since August 15th wow. uh, prepping props and um, and our cleaning up our studio, preparing for the pumpkins to be delivered. We got our first delivery of pumpkins on September 6th from the farmers, and we've been drawing and carving ever since. That is incredible. Are you? Uh, what do you hope that people take from checking out the trail this year? Oh, I just hope they see some of the favorites that they voted on. Mm -hmm. That I'm sure would be really fun for people that took part in the poll uh, to see the pumpkins that they asked for and just enjoy all of um, all of the the art. Absolutely. It's been 10 years of the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular here at Iroquois Park. So they asked fans what their favorite things were, and those favorites um, were included here um, in, the, in the show this year. It's going to be great, you guys. It starts at dark tonight. That, that's the best part right there, yeah. what she's showcasing. You walk yes. in, you can hardly believe it. And the camera just doesn't do it justice. It doesn't. you got to see it in person. You so have many to go. And this is the 10-year anniversary, guys. So go out and support. It is such a big draw for Louisville. People come in. I, I'm, I'm told that people come in from yeah. other states mm -hmm. every year, and they do not miss it.